about the film and okay and here we are with Peppa Binkley the star of the film Peppa you play Nicole in the film is there something you could tell me about your character uh, yeah I think that her her role really is to reflect back on the lead who is out like contemplating his place in the universe and his life and she comes in and she's like a breath of fresh air now, I'm a little confused because I could have sworn in the trailer that you had an English accent. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I'm not British, but uh, I did go to, I went to school in London and I went to RADA. That's incredible. You were very convincing. How long did it take you to, to master that? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm glad that you thought it was that good, but I, w I lived in London for three years. Okay. Was, was the character initially written as... No, she was written as British, which is why we did it. Um, however, the character also grew up going back and forth between New Orleans and, and London, so it's able to like kind of mix a little bit. And how did you prepare for the role of Nicole? Um, well, actually, the Jacob and I, who's over here, uh, Jacob, the lead actor, and I worked a lot together on the script and kind of the relationship, and that's how we really worked on our own characters is by taking like the work that we did outside of it and bringing it into the room together and we did a lot of rewriting with Sean over the course of the process. Was there a fair bit of improvisation on, on There is, um, there was some, yeah, yeah. We, we, we really tried to honor Sean's script but at the same time when there were places that we thought that there was some room to build on the story of these two people meeting, we he let us do a little bit of improvising, yeah. The film sounds like it's got a really beautiful story and it's very thought-provoking. What was that like, immersing yourself into that character and that theme of romance and, and uh, unrequited love and so forth? Um, it was, uh, it, it just was, a, the entire process is a really generous an exciting thing to be a part of because it's rare that you get to only have two people on camera working together and yeah, it was, you know, you, you get to do it in real life once in a while, but to actually examine yourself as you're going through this discovery of, like, meaning and love and how a relationship brings your life alive again. Were you able to draw on any real life experience? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Are you a fan of the romance genre? Excuse me? Are you a fan of the romance genre? Ah, uh, sure, yeah. I mean... Anything like uh, the, the main thing for me was that this like the, there was a really truthful there's a real heart to this movie and that comes from the writer Sean because he you know he ba he based the soul of the lead character on himself he's a cop himself he wrote it after Katrina when he really was feeling this like questioning about like his own meaning in life and and I think that 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 piece of the story was so important to Jacob and I as we were bringing to life his characters. And there must have been a certain amount of intimacy on set, given that there were only two characters in the film. Was the set quite small, being an independent feature, and what was that like? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty small set for, you know, as an independent feature, but it was also kind of wild because the community really got behind Sean as a writer. And so people would bring their like lawn chairs out and watch us filming in the middle of the night. I mean, it was wild, yeah. So it was both intimate at times and also really felt like this community of people supporting one another in, in the creation of this story. And what was Stephen like to work with? Stephen was great, yeah. We'd never worked together before, so it was, it, was, it was like getting thrown onto the coals together because we only had seven days to make the film. Yeah. Did that? Did you find that that changed the pacing? Was there an element of stress, like making a whole feature film in such a short amount of time? Um, I wouldn't say that it was stressful making a feature film that amount of time, but it gave me as an actor like more responsibility because we were shooting like 24 pages a night, which meant that we were doing very long scenes. We weren't breaking them up, but that was also like a gift to be able to play the scenes through that we 
we're able to do seven to ten pages all in one go. That never happens on camera. So I thought I thought it was interesting considering it it's, takes place over one single night, yet it took you eight days. What was it like with the continuity of recreating the same? You must have been sick of the same wardrobe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, luckily I don't have to do any of that stuff. I just throw it on. Well, and also my wardrobe was is just like a nurse's outfit. So <laughs> I got to. I kind of was like, oh, they'll take care of hair and makeup. My job is to, you know, make make the words come alive with meaning. <laughs> and uh, how does it feel having the, the film premiere here in Hollywood at a venue, the Arena Cine Lounge that supports independent cinema? How is it? How do you feel? Uh, I think it's great to be here. I mean, honestly, the film, it's, it's so rare that a film actually gets seen in a theater these days that it feels like an event, so it's it's wild to to be here in Hollywood and doing that, and and especially in a in a theater that supports independent cinema, it's, it's just great to be a part of it. Fantastic. Well, Pepper, thank you so much for chatting, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye.